Right, uh, tell you what, it's Pay Chat powered by Paywise this year, also by Shelter. Got to be honest, Friday. Mm. Look, we've had this is our third Friday show. Yep, I think we've come to the realization that Fridays are about having beers with your mates. There's nothing better than sitting around with the boys and cracking a fr- few brewskis. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, who <laughs> could someone come get their dad from yeah. in the box? I've and had one <laughs> sip. I had one sip. My God, Father. Ah. Sounds beautiful. I can't wait to crack a cold one with you. Big tackle coming up here. Welcome to Back Chat Podcast. Uh, live on YouTube if you're joining us. Congratulations, YouTube, watching along after the fact. All listening mm. along, we love you either way. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Back Chat Studios is where you find all the good stuff. We've got lots of merch out at the moment. West Heaps Coast Eagles and Frio might have that. Or they could just be just, uh, up the coasters. And it's Wolfy time, It's Wolfy baby. time. Nothing to do with West Coast and Fremantle, no, apparently. Not a single thing to do Love with Love the them. docks. Uh, look, there's a fair bit going on. Um, mm. I want to so go off much. the top with this one. Tab Touch. Our good friends with Tab Touch. Massive friends. Very, very good friends. Best friends, almost. We've been having you play around with some markets. We've been doing spoiling markets. Yep. You know. We're not doing spoiling no, markets. We're <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we're, no. I don't need to go into that. We're not doing Hurry spoiling up. markets. It's not doing Six minutes. Right. Make it quick. Uh, if you're watching along live on YouTube, you need to go and download the Tab Touch app right now. We are on first goal scorer being Adelaide. Why? Why first goal scorer being Adelaide? We think the Adelaide backline, mm. look, albeit uh, a, a vote getter in the back chat backman of the year, thanks to Tab Touch, James Borlase, has been dropped <laughs> after a vote. Disappointing. Which we'll touch on a yep. little later. They don't obviously watch or listen. I think the Adelaide back line is stronger than the Geelong one. Yes, yes. they have Tom yes, Stewart. Of course. Yes, they have Sam DeConing. Tom even. <sighs> Tom DeConing they've got. Or do they have Sam? No, they've got, no, they've got they've Tom. They've Sam's Carlton, isn't he? Which one does Robbie Williams sing about? Yeah, They have Sam, Sam DeConing. DeConing. I was yeah. right. Yeah. I double-guessed myself. I, I And when I say double, I mean second-guess myself. Mm. Same thing. We're loose today. I think Geelong's back line's a little loose. Yeah. yeah. I think they're a little loose. They're, they're Geelong's flaccid. back line's the Friday show. Adelaide's is the Monday. That's mm, exactly right. It's a little looser. It's a little looser. Download, little looser. download the Tab Touch app. Yep. Get on Adelaide kicking the first goal with us because we're going to cheer this one home. Yep. We've got the game on in front of us. Five minutes to go. If yep. it wins, we may shut the stream down. Yep. We may leave the studio. We may leave yep. the country. Head to the pub. Yep. In We've got t- at least ten dollars on this one, yeah. and we may win around. <laughs> and there $20. may or may not be a max bet of twenty dollars on it, so <laughs> we're gonna be rich. So right. you go to go to Tab Touch, AFL, right? Find the match. Find, find the, the match. game. Find the game. Find the game. Find the game. Right. Then click on match. match. Adelaide Geelong. Adelaide Geelong. Tap match. Little scroll. Little, Little scroll, scroll to the right. Find the thing that says match. Yep. yep. Then what? Down. Yep. Find Adelaide kick first goal. Yep. Click on that. That says yep. back chat. No, Something. I don't know no, what it says. Say, I'm not sure. Could but say anything. Yeah. Could say anything. Pretty sure it says Adelaide to kick the first goal. Dollar <laughs> seventy <laughs> slash two dollars fifty. Correct. Get on. Get right. on there. All right. Absolutely. Get on. As Geelong warming up right now, the forward line here, which is irrelevant for the first yeah, goal, yeah. they know it. Jeremy yeah. Cameron knows yeah. it. Look at him snapping away. He doesn't know what's going on. Tom. I'd hate to see a centre bounce goal. Dangerfield <laughs> straight out the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how have we uh, been, boys? Been good? Very good. Really good. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, good. Friday's here. We've had a lot going on this week. So um, our good friend of the podcast, uh, Isaac Dowling, if you remember yes, from Monday. Yes, I do remember from so Monday. So Isaac had a shot for goal at this St Kilda Collingwood game at the MCG last night. Yep. We'll be speaking to Isaac later in the show. Wow. Uh, for a thousand bucks? Yeah. Did we did we express freight some merch to him? Yes, yes we, did. we did. Was he for wearing a thousand it? bucks? Did he look like <laughs> a mascot? Yes, he did. Awesome. It was enormous from Isaac. Did he kick the goal? We don't know. Mm. I don't know. It wasn't televised. So we're going to chat to Isaac a little later on. Looking forward to chatting with him. Steve Gravino will be on the show a little later. Not Stevie G. Not yes. Steve Garvino, who's the NBL commentator. Remember Steve Garvino? No. Huh. Do you? Yeah. So this, we're not speaking to him? No, we're not speaking to him. Steve Gravino, <laughs> physio for a long time at the West Coast Eagles. Yep, a guru. Given that... The state of affairs in uh, in uh, Western injuries at the moment. We're talking Oscar Allen, Elijah Hewitt, Matt Flynn, Brennan Cox. Oscar McDonald. Oscar McDonald. We get the breakdown yeah. with Stevie G on one, the injury. You know how people are ballerina injury for Elijah Hewitt? Don't yeah. know what that means. Going to a ballerina specialist. Stevie G does. Stevie G does know what that stuff means. So front runner performance and front runner physio. Stevie G will join us a little later on in the show. Hamish, you excited about that? I am. How's your, how's your week been? It's been busy, You've man. You've got some like lovely linen um, pants on there, Thanks. don't you? Yeah. I'm going out for they dinner. Are, it's, uh, they are barely a fitting your quads in there. Yeah, well, your quads are bursting, though. Yeah, I've got a nice ass to quad on top of. Uh, <laughs> I'm going out for dinner after this with 
uh, my girlfriend for her mum's birthday. Happy oh. birthday, your Happy girlfriend's birthday. mum. Thank you. Uh, so <laughs> What's we'll her mum's name? Helen. Helen. Yeah, Helen sounds Helen. like a lovely Happy lady. Happy birthday, Helen. Lovely lady. So we'll be going out for dinner. Uh, you can tell the loveliness of people by their first name. Mm. Like Helen. G- her name was Gertrude. Gertrude. Yeah. Did we just, we I'm pretty sure you heard me say Gur. And then I went with yeah, it. Yeah, you went with it. Gert. Um, I think you can. Okay. But yeah, Helen, lovely lady. Shout out, Helen. Um, Who are we looking so here? Tom Stewart walking back to the back line. Tom, unfortunately, first goal is coming up against you. If you Sorry, haven't downloaded the it Tab won't Touch get, app. It won't get kicked on him. Get on. No, of course it won't. Get on. Tab Touch app. Download. So Tom Stewart's flipping the coin. He's the captain these days, is he? I oh, believe right. he is. Okay. I thought Dangerfield might still have been. Jordan Dawson v. Stewart. Who wins it? Jordan Dawson. Oh Lost boy. Okay. So you'll be going to the left hand side of screen, running back to the back line saying, boys, we're going to be one goal down to start this game, but we will get on a run later on. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, right. How have you been? I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. No. What have I been doing? Gall- gallivanting around. I did see you Monday. Yeah. I did see Briefly, you Monday. I was in for a 15 minute stint on Monday and then had yeah. to sh- shoot off. Did you, um, did you train well? Train the no, house mate, down? I was shit house. I've, I got concussed on the weekend prior. so I. Uh, yeah, so you didn't let this. You didn't tell us nah, this. I, was, right. I tried to push through it a bit, which was dumb. How did that? Did oh, I felt shit on really? Tuesday. Woke up. Oh, so I went to work, got knocked, uh, got kicked in the head with a football. Falcon. Oh, you Falcon. got there at McKenzie. Yeah. So like went to smother a ball, sort of tilted my head that way. And the sher- the burly has just flushed me on the side of the neck, back of the head. Knocked Shut out? Up, uh, not like unconscious, as in, as in. but like hit the deck. And I was like, oh my God, went to stand up, got dizzy, fit back down. Stood up again, ran off, and then like 10 minutes later, I was seeing stars blurry, couldn't really? like a headache. Anyway, Sunday was okay. Monday, sort of not great, but went to work and was like looking at a screen, blurry, shit. And then Monday night, quickly came here, then went to training, and I was like, at training, I was just, I was, I was a zombie. Tuesday morning was shit, didn't go to work, so yeah, was uh, not great. So, um, but here I am. Download the tap tap chat. Get on. It's about to be first bounce at Adelaide Oval. Still sunny over there by the looks of Ooh, things. Very yeah, good. Brilliant. I'm excited. Perfect, I'm on this one, boys. Um, I think yeah. my, my prediction <laughs> is Adelaide center clearance goal. That's it's what nice I like that to I can see. be here and, and not physically. Like, I had to walk out last year whenever we talked footy. This is absolutely brilliant. brilliant. We bloody love it. What are you really gambling with, Dan? Make sure you yeah. uh, contact support if you do need <laughs> yeah. help with this. Adelaide, get Adelaide it out, Matty football. Crouch. Who is that? Wayne 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 Holy Bounce shit. Awkwardly. It hasn't. Oh, oh boy. No. Oh, no. oh, Max Holmes is a good oh, player. No. Yeah, well, handball Eric to someone, handball. Max. Um, it is an absolute clusterfuck here at the yeah. start of the game. No one's had a Oh, there it is. Keezy. Oh, my God, Keezy. Bounce awkwardly. It hasn't. Here Over we the go. top. Flick it in. Where's Rankin? Somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that Adelaide, couldn't be. That couldn't be. Go. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Oh, it's First gone. point. Oh, that was uh, that was Rochelle. That was my guy, that Rochelle. Was Josh Rochelle. One of the okay. uh, one of Lock the it in, boys. Lock it in. Adelaide, uh, just kick wow, the point. Okay, While we watch along away. with this, <laughs> another big. exciting thing happening tomorrow. Now, we can't give too many details away, but I'll give you some details. I'd mm. like as much as you can. We will be at the captain's run with GWS. Awesome. awesome. What time is that? Like? We have confirmed something, not only with the team of GWS, but the coach of GWS. In Kingers. fact, we were in an email thread <laughs> where he was referred to as Kingers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So Kingers is on board was the quote unquote. Kingers is on board. If that doesn't get you excited, like I when I saw those words, Kingers it is re- on board. elevated me. I think me. it was Kingers King- is massive. Kingers too. loves it. Was was the phrase. Kingers King- loves it. Kingers loves King it. Loves yeah, it. that's what it was. This is the man that was lifting weights in his office. Yeah. Uh, doing all sorts of stuff. So. Uh, we will be with GWS tomorrow. We right. will be doing something with the it's team. And Kingers line. does love it. As it oh, oh, my goodness. That was Tex oh. Walker trying to take a hanger. It is in the forward line of Adelaide. Geelong have not had Isaac one. Rankin. That is Isaac Rankin. Oh. Tom Stewart has marked it on the goal line, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I will say that. Oh, he's ch- it, oh, that's an awkward switch. It's a good kick. Mark Blitzabs. Blitzabs. Ran 18 kilometres in his first game of AFL for three touches. Uh, oh, it is plenty around. going on Anyways, in that one yeah. as well. Um, so... As we watch along with this, which I can't take my eyes off, to be honest, because Geelong hasn't have it past their, their yeah, centre, centre good. way line. Uh, we've got some other things to get through as Can well. Can I just read you some YouTube comments? Because people are here watching along Great. as well. Uh, Fiery Beard Man 86. Can we get Scoey's team profile pick through the years up uh, on the walls like an evolution of the 2018 hero? It's yeah, a great idea. Or like an evolution of man. <laughs> it's a great because idea. Because I came From to the boy football to man. club as a boy, yeah. as a as an absolute virgin. Matthew <laughs> Matthew McCann <laughs> says, "Literal and figuratively, <laughs> like." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matthew McCann says, "Happy birthday, Helen." Thanks. 
So yeah, yeah, <laughs> thanks, guys. Shout oh, out, Maddie. Maryland. That's very, very Good thoughtful. Maddie, Maddie McCann. McCann wasn't she missing? <laughs> <laughs> we found her. Oh, oh, we oh, wow. found her on the chat. Is that on the beaches of Portugal or something? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> hang on a minute. It's going. Sorry, Maddie. I'll get back to you. In it a second. has not looked like going. Here we go. Text racist. Uh, oh, oh boy, Jesus Christ! Christ. Oh, Maddie. <gasps> It's going to be a shot of goal coming up. Is a shot of goal. He's yeah! done it! He's done it! He's done it! I'll see you, you later, it. Tab Touch. Thanks see for coming. Woo-hoo. Thanks for coming. It's a goal. Who's kicked the goal? Oh, who knows? Who we is won? it? Who cares? We won from one. Who is, who who is, is that? Who's got a giant mullet? Who is that? He's got Nick? a mullet. Who oh, is my. that? We should know who this is. We should. He is number is 16. 17. It could be Jake Saligo with Saligo. bleached mullet. He's bleached his mullet. Running all the way back to the centre. We are downs. one from one with Tab Touch, gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's a ah, that's good. That tab was Touch. Brilliant. Tab Touch. Shout out uh, number 14. Is that still Jake Saligo? <laughs> Sometimes you snooze, you lose. And that's unfortunately what Tab Touch has done. They're asleep at the wheel and we've yep. just cleaned them out. So if yep. you were on, congratulations. If you weren't, please do it on next yep. time. Uh, it's Jake Saligo. Yes. Jake number 14. Saligo. Well done. Bloody, Shout out, Matty. Bloody good job there. Dan, you want to give me a little... Uh, little uh, people are pumped. Just a lot of goal, goal, goal on YouTube. Wow. People yeah. are... Um, and also, people want to know how you tipping... Oh, there goes Dangerfield. How you tipping... Oh, this is coming This in is what you predicted, but it, this is fine. Do what you like, yeah, Dan. Do what you like now, Go for it. Have your life. Uh, Hammer, how's your tips going, seeing as you tipped ahead of... It's a great question. I actually haven't even looked Leonel at it. Leonel Messi's just kicked a goal, by the way. Okay, well, that's really good. Brian, Brian who cares if he kicks one? But that could be me. more brilliant. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Um, I don't know how my tipping's going. Because <laughs> you tipped, you tipped the whole season. Yeah, I tipped the whole season in advance uh, through the Patreon tipping. I tipped. I'm doing a separate tipping on another thing. I right. tipped Saints last night by ten points. Same here. Thanks. But um, I have to because yeah, I have to pick every, the home team. Oh yeah, you have to pick the home team <laughs> on every single platform that I speak on. All sort, all forms of media. Yeah. I said St Kilda win. Kil- Kil- win. Yeah. Tipping. Collingwood. Tip Collingwood. <laughs> like a idiot. cockhead. <laughs> like an absolute idiot. Uh, very good. That someone, was very good fun with Tab Someone's just asked um, when Patrick McGinnity is coming on the pod. I would love to have Patrick McGinnity. Yeah, so he's playing currently for the Dunsborough Sharks down yep. in the Southern Shark. League. Probably um, somewhere in the realms of Bustleton. Good friends down there at the Shelter Brewing. Oh, yeah, yep. nice. Okay. Um, good man, Patty McGinnity. I think, ladies and gentlemen, after that very exciting patch there, thanks to Tab Touch, yeah, we that was should huge. go well, and have a chat to our good friend Steve Gravina uh, at... Are we, are we happy to do yeah, this? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I, Let's the get injuries. the injury low down with all things West Coast and Fremantle. This man is a man of knowledge. You're going to really mm-hmm. love this. Let's go and tune in right now. Cut. Okay. There we go. This is uh, Will Schofield uh, was talking there. No, no, no volume on that. Um, I didn't see any volume or any. Or tough any to video. see volume, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah got it. Where are you going for dinner? Uh, somewhere in Leadable. Not sure where. Not sure. No. What? You've no booking. I don't know the booking. I just know to be in Leadable at about. Where, what's your favourite place in Leadable that I oh, hate? Um, the gastro ja- Jagadaku, <laughs> the Indian gastro pub. Can you? Can Great someone tell me if an Indian gastro pub is a good idea? Julian, for a let's ask Julian first. <laughs> can, Nick, can yeah. you can you tell me? Horrid yeah, me. it does sound horrid. It, I look, I with the greatest respect to the people who have set this business up, right? It's I, an Indian gastro pub. I, I, I don't think that sounds. Like there was dance music going on. There was movies on screen. The busiest was, I've seen it is when they India don't were playing the Australia gastro, do they? in the in the cricket, <laughs> and there was a lot of staff members watching the TV in there. <laughs> it was good. All right, let's go hear from Stevie G on all the injury news on West Coast and Fremantle. All righty. Uh, as promised, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Gravina joins us from Front Runner Physio. Uh, Stevie and I worked together for a long time at the West Coast Eagles. Um, I wasn't that injured, to be honest, Steve. So we like we didn't spend much time on the table, a little bit, and you were always the best in there. But I, I was happy not <laughs> at times. Um, thanks for coming into back chat, mate. Oh, thanks for thanks having me, mate. Um, yeah, so Stevie's joining us this year on a bit of a semi-regular basis, Dan, to go through some Very good. injuries in the AFL. Now, I don't know if... I don't know what's going on in Western Australia, but there's <sighs> not just West Coast, mate. Yeah, yeah, okay. Not just West Coast, yep. but Western Australia, there's some big injuries. And I think some injuries that I've been in the system for a long time, I don't know what's going on. So perhaps you can help us break down what they are and the rehab involved, given your experience as a physio. Yeah. And give us ha- some good news. Hopefully. Happy to share <laughs> some insights, mate. And yeah. there's always a spike in injuries the first couple of rounds, as right. we know, year by year. But... Yeah, seems to be some uh, yeah pretty high traumatic ones this year in Perth for some reason. So that's real, is it? Early in the season, you see the 
Like the big ones? Yeah, any time there's a transition. So whether it's from off-season to the start of pre-season, there's a bit of a spike. From pre-season to the start of the season, there's a spike. There's always, even after buys, there tends to be injuries. So mm. there seems to be a, a correlation with the, the jump in load or the jump in intensity and, and injuries popping up. So clubs know they're coming. They're just hoping for the best sometimes. Well, yeah, it's hard to prepare for. Yeah. Um, the intensity is never high because the guys are as fit as they're going to be off a, off a hard pre-season. Grounds are harder and that's been a hot topic. Um, but over a hot, a hot summer that we've had in Perth, the ground's going to be harder. Um, and, yeah, you just can't get that match conditioning in pre-season games and pre-season trainings. Mm. It's a big uh, jump. Let's get into some players because mm. there's a few to go through. I think we should start probably at the top, the captain of West Coast, Oscar Allen. Um, but what's going on? We've had bone stress and, and, and a few words floated around. Like what, what, what do you see is happening and what's the likely rehab for him? Yeah, so I mean, I'm an outsider now yeah. from the club, so I don't have the other uh, deep insights anymore. But from what I've seen, some bone stress has developed. He got through the game okay, and then it swelled up after the game. Um, I'd imagine they had further investigations, which showed up some bone stress and then some some cartilage issues as well. So I think he's had surgery, from my understanding. Mm. The talk is that they'll aim for an eight week return. They'll want to scan it about four weeks to check out this, the status of the bone stress. If that's been healing up well, then he can progress his loads and get back into some training to prep for games at about eight weeks. But if that bone stress continues, it'll probably push it out a little bit longer to that sort of three or four months return. How, how common is bone stress? Like a lot of players carrying bone stress, but some it, it hurts more than others or it develops into something oh, else? Oh, not so much. You're generally acting on a lot, of, a lot of the bone stress that would occur. So if someone is declared with having it, um, it's a pretty significant injury a lot of the time because it's a sign that the bone's just not tolerating the loads of, of the game and what they're putting it through. So it usually means a bit of time on the sidelines. So when you hear hot spot, is that like, you know, in the term hot spot, yeah. gets is that bone stress? Yeah, that's right. It's a bit of, a, I guess, a continuum from a healthy bone to a fracture and a bone stress injury is somewhere in the middle, which is like a hot spot. It hasn't like, quite gone to fail, but it's starting to show signs that it's not coping. The hot spot's like what comes up on the scan, isn't it? it like glows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot, so it lights up like nice and bright and white and there's like bone edema or bone swelling and it's a sign that, yeah, it's not happy. Right. So obviously, so Oscar played his first game. So before that, he wouldn't have known that there was bone stress or like yeah, that, sometimes how it happens usually? Yeah, it can just creep up on you and, mm. and you can be completely pain-free up until the time where it tips over the edge. And so, yeah... I mean, can you prevent it? Can you jump on and scan everyone's knees and everyone's legs and, and pick up some of these things? Maybe. But also some of the loading that happens in bones, it can just be the part of um, of normally playing footy. So it's, it's hard, to, hard to pick them up sometimes. Hmm. So talking about knees, let's jump between the two clubs over here in the West, chatting with Steve Gravina from Front Runner Physio, who's now out in his own doing his own thing. We'll chat about how you can get in touch with him and the crew a little bit later on. Oscar McDonald, not Oscar Allen, Oscar McDonald. I witnessed this one. This was like a car crash knee injury. It looked like his ankle went and his knee went. Reports coming out now that he hasn't, well, he may not have torn his ACL. He may have detached the ACL um, from where it attaches. Again, I don't, I don't really know what this means. What's the difference there? Yeah, there's a couple of options for what could have happened. But with an injury like that where you have a massive hyperextension, uh, the ACL gets put under a massive amount of stretch. Now, more commonly, the ACL will rupture and snap in the, in the middle of the ligament, which requires the reconstruction and the 12-month injury that we all know about ACLs. Sometimes it can rip off its attachment at the bottom or the top and it can actually pull it, the sort of anchor of the bone off with it. And so in that case, the surgeon will tend to go in and plug the, plug the attachment back in and so it's sort of like bone-on-bone bone healing and that bony healing is like a fracture. So after six weeks, the bone tends to be strong again and you can, you can progress a lot quicker rather than waiting for the ligament to get strong because when a ligament ruptures and you're repairing that, it takes a lot of time for the ligament to get strong through getting new blood vessels put through it and new nerve endings and it, that takes that full 12 months. But a bone healing, it's a bit quicker and so you might see him back this year. It seems outrageous. Yeah, so they just, do they just glue... Or like do they drill in a nail? Like how do you attach bone? Or do you yeah, just... it's a bit more than just clag. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that, yeah, from the surgeon's point of view, they'll, they'll probably burrow in a little bit deeper and, and try and fill that gap and then use some kind of um, yeah, adhesive right. material. And then, 
yeah, wait for the bone to heal up and they're away. She said it would be incredible if he comes back. I just I thought he'd never play yeah. footy again by the looks <laughs> of that. So it'd be a good result for Freo if, if he does get back. Absolutely. What about uh, Elijah Hewitt? So he's uh, – I saw something around him. He was talking to a ballerina physio or something. What, what's happening there? It's been thrown around a lot. Yeah. And, and also he was um, battling some injuries last year. And so is that sort of just a consistent thing that keeps coming up? So, yeah, from my understanding, Elijah's had a uh, condition called sesamoiditis. So it's an inflammation of the sesamoid bone, bones, which are these two little bones underneath your big toe joint. Um, it's not super common in footy, but it, it, it can happen. Um, and in generally, it's just from overuse. Now, uh, athletes that do get this quite a lot is dance and ballet, and, and hence the club's reached out to someone across in Melbourne um, the head of Australian Ballet from a physio point of view is over there and so mm. she's a bit of an expert in the in the area. Um, seems like whatever management's been put in hasn't hasn't worked or they're running out of time so they've elected to go in for surgery. Um, surgery's pretty rare for it but again it can happen and there's a few different options in what, what that can look like. Um, it's a nasty spot though because as little as your big toe is, it's a super important joint with your body that, uh, to be able to enable you to run. So... Mm. It's going to take some time, I think, for him to get on back is, on top of is it. Is that usually a long-term thing? Uh, I, or, or depending what's happened. Mm. Um, I mean, it can, it can be from removing the bone to just trying to tidy it up around it. So this one could be a couple of months, but it could be a bit longer. Um, and the Alt-G, the Alter-G, which was always my best friend, people who are listening or watching along, is that something that would probably be used in a rehab sense with a foot injury like that, tanking away body weight? Yeah, yeah, and what absolutely. And is, what is the Alter G? Yeah, so the Alter G is a treadmill uh, which is basically anti-gravity. So you, you're basically in a vacuum which can take your body weight off off you. Uh, you can basically program it from t- from you running with 100% of your body weight all the way down to 1% and some, anywhere in, in the middle. So if someone like someone like you, mate, towards the end of your career, we'd usually put you at about eighty percent on a Monday morning <laughs> for to no you, reason uh, to let you get through a session so you wouldn't break down. Um, but yeah, someone with a foot injury, like below the knee, the, the calf, Achilles, plantar fascia, all those tissues take about fifty percent of the load when we run. So big forces are going through the foot. So taking uh, taking some weight off the foot initially to allow them to get back to running could be a, yeah a viable. It's like you're running option. on the moon. A little bit like that. Right. A little bit cool. like Why that. Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just send him up to the moon to run? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll talk about He's like, like, yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, is, uh, who, who's going up there? Elon? Yeah, Elon. Musky. Yep. Send him up there. Yep. Get, his, like. get his knee wrapped. That's, uh, uh, that's Mars, mate. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Could we do that? No, let's not get into that because I know you'll actually be able to answer that, uh, <laughs> that question. Uh, what about um, back on the other side, Brennan Cox? Hamstring tendon injury. Again, we don't know exactly what that looks like, but uh, it looked significant. Yeah, it did. It was a pretty high force where he's had, had a big forward sort of bending moment, which basically puts the, t- the hamstring muscle and tendon unit on stretch at speed. And unfortunately, the yeah the tendon failed on him. It so happened, happened before. I can't remember if it's the same hammy or not, but like a reoccurrence, even if it is in another hammy. Yeah. It's not a positive thing. No, it's not good. Um, and so from a, a surgical point of view, um, reattaching the tendon takes time. And tendons are notoriously slow healers. They haven't got a great blood supply, which means they, they take a bit longer. So it's a three to four month situation. Interestingly, the first couple of weeks are always the hold your breath moment for the medical team. The mm-hmm. big one, whenever you get a, a, a scar incision from the surgeon up near your, your butt crack, Mm. Or the, the the butt fold, it's a pro. It's a really high risk area for infection, and uh, it's really hard to keep clean and dry. So it's going to be a uh, uncomfortable couple of weeks for him. Oh. If you can get through that, then generally they do pretty well. But we've had a few guys over the years that end up with nasty sort of wound infections, and that leads to delays in rehab. And oh. is that is that because it's just so close to the butt? Well, it is. You're sitting on it all the time. Yeah, you're laying on it. It's always sweating. Yeah. Exactly right. Um, <laughs> you can see where your mind's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that's true. Brennan Cox's ass. Yeah, Brennan Cox's ass. Um, when you watch the footy and someone goes down with injury, do you can you pick it up pretty quickly and know what's, what it looks like they've done? Because I feel like I can, but I'm guessing. <laughs> most of the time. I'm like guessing. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's an ACL. But can, when you watch, can you pick it? The way, yeah, the way the injury unfolds, like the mechanism of injury, you can predict pretty well. Not always. There's a few different areas that can that can come up when an injury occurs, but. 
yeah, the more the longer you've watched enough footy and being in the game in the medical space, you can see a few. Last one, Matt yep. Flynn, a massive recruit for West Coast. Prize possession. I mean, this hurt. This cut right to your heart. Yeah, really hurt. I mean, Matt Flynn. Bailey Williams went to be a forward. Matt Flynn Matt has Flynn to deal with this too. Don't no. you. Oh Matt yeah, Flynn. yeah, poor guy. Yeah, it's, it is rough. Yeah. Big ruck recruit. Uh, supposedly in a captain's run doing some sort of ruck work up on a bag, which we see all the time. It happens all the time and apparently reportedly has torn the hammy tendon off the front part of his knee or something. How does that even work? Your ha- hamstrings on the back of your leg. Yeah, it is. You've got two hamstrings on the inside of the thigh which come around and just wrap around just to the front little corner of your knee. Right. Um, so for whatever reason, I haven't seen it before in a, like a traumatic injury like this. I've heard that before. I've heard that they haven't seen it before. No, it's pretty rare to happen to happen like this. And and I'm imagining he's not going super hard at the bag either. No. Um, so typically, there might have been something underlying there mm. where it might have been grumbling away, and that was the straw that broke the camel's back. So right. it's pretty rare in footy to have that one. And um, yeah, I'd imagine the club will reach out to a few other a few other experts around to get some advice. You know how you're talking about the ACL uh, rupture compared to it um, uh, with Oscar McDonald? Yeah. Would this be sort of similar? Like um, compare a Brennan Cox middle of the body tear compared to yeah. it off the, off the bone? If that's oh, I mean different as in you just – with the rehab, you're spending a lot more time around the knee for Matt Flynn's area right. um, versus the hip. I'd imagine – if you're comparing the two, uh, Brennan's would take a little bit longer just because it's a higher area and happen at just such a higher speed, which means it's going to take longer to build, build up the tolerance to that kind of level of force again. Mm. Um, but, yeah, this one's a little bit unique, so it might be interesting to follow over the next over the next couple of months to see how, how Matt returns. Like you mentioned at the top, um, talk around hard surfaces of pre-season and stuff like that, and there's also a lot of talk around Mineral Resources Park being a contributor. Is that a, is that a factor, hard grounds um, causing injury? Is it just a, the body isn't used to it yet or do they need to change grounds? Or Yeah, I not, mean hard, not, not hard, eagles, but yeah. hard grounds are a known risk factor for, for injury um, and, it, and the industry knows, knows that. And so there's regular testing that goes on around ground firmness. Um, there's also a lot of testing going around the, the traction coefficient, so how well um, the, the ground gives to allow the guys to be able to change direction uh, at, at speed. Um, and so, yeah, the club, from what I understand, the club would be testing it regularly and if it was deemed unsafe, they, they wouldn't be training there. Um, but I think it's something they're, they're all they're taking into consideration. So mm. that is Steve Gravina, front runner physio. Stevie, um, your location's in Osmond Park, Wembley. West, West Perth. Perth. West Perth, yeah. Um, if people are listening along, how can they get in touch? Um, you've got a few vacancies maybe or maybe you don't. Maybe you just – he's probably – you probably don't. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I tend to be pretty busy. But good. no, no, we've got a really good team uh, of physios around us. Great. So, yeah, we're, we're growing and it's uh, it's really good fun getting back into the private practice industry to serve the community and young and inspiring athletes as well. Um, how they yeah, get in touch? They can get in touch via the website, uh, frontrunnersports.com.au and on Instagram, frontrunnersports. Um yeah, plenty of fun right there. I imagine even if you're just a real footy nuffy and you want to talk about injuries, you could just book in a session and <laughs> just chat. Yeah, happy to chat. This Great is chat. Re- this is really interesting. So stuff, good, right? I love it. Like talk forever. Trying to, I think at some point, um, yeah, clubs are really. It's really difficult to, for clubs to give really detailed descriptions on what happens to players all the time because there's so much going on, isn't there? You've been inside a footy club. There's a lot happening every week, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Not even, there'd be stuff happening that we wouldn't know about that you're managing week to week. Yeah, once the season starts, you're going a bit of damage control and just trying to help patch up guys to get through from, from week to week. Um, and it's hard to be able to step away and take the long-term view for a lot of, for a lot of these guys because the pressure of winning each week is just huge. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it's a challenge for the medical team. And I, yeah, I certainly feel for all the all – the, clubs that are feeling the pain at the moment of, uh, of these early season injuries. This has been great. We're going to get awesome. you back in for sure. Steve Gravina, front runner physio. Make sure you get in touch. Um, thanks for coming in and joining us, mate. No, thanks, thanks for having us. Cheers. I'll just get my text up with you. Bloody good. There we go. Stevie Gra- Gravina. Love that so Stevie much. Stevie G, the great man. I mm. think uh, general AFL public don't get enough of what's happening that. inside the footy club. Yep. And so Not he knows. All. He doesn't work there anymore, but he knows how it works. Yes. You liked it. I know you liked it. Oh, I just, I loved it. I could ask him a question. About, I just love injuries for some reason. Talking about them. I don't love the injuries. I <laughs> Do just you love, love West Coast it. injuries? No, no. 
<laughs> You're talking absolutely about them. in a pit of despair at the moment. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> Why is struggling. Oscar Allen playing round one if he's not like I don't, I don't buy the like oh it just happened like they not they must have known about you, it you could rock up with the coasters merch and just i don't know go to the front door yeah and start billeting yeah like, Br- come come with me <laughs> we're going <laughs> what, <you> march 25th <laughs> we're, marching we're going to the mineral capital. resources park and we're storming the capital let's go <laughs> Donald Imagine Trump. a protest of everyone wearing <laughs> Let's go. up the Let's coasters shirts. Why are we still on bottom of the ladder? Colin would have lost three times. <laughs> We've only lost once. This is bullshit. Uh, they probably because uh, they got outrageous. more money. Outrageous. Uh, the coasters. Uh, the the coasters. coasters. And I'll be doing these ones just to everyone. Get a dog up, you Nizzy. Get a dog up, you Pikey. Get a dog up, you Simo. Your Nizzy dogs. will be in the protest. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's oh. going on? Well, I did it all. Uh, there we go. That's Love a bit that. about merch, by the way. The coasters mm. and Wharfie oh, time. Oh, it's Wharfie time. Love right? it. That's just so, for all so the Wharfies good. out there right now. Frio sizzling, by the way. Yeah. Um, talking about sizzling. Mm. Look, this um, this came across the desk this week as we interviewed our good friend Drew Banfield. Oh, on such podcast. a good chat. It was a brilliant chat. Drew. My uh, the teacher of my year one. Um, uh, sorry, the teacher of my son in year one, Miss mm. Elson. Shout out, Miss Elson. Uh, uh, dropped Nash off. Dro- <laughs> Dro- <laughs> Downward spiral from there. But, uh, she said, great to see you. Hi, Nash. Great. And then she said, oh, we'll kind of speak to you for a moment. Oh, oh yeah. Nash, Nash has Nash been done? expelled. Nash is shit in the classroom or something. <laughs> 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 oh, poor Nash. She, she goes, poor Nash. Poor Nash. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Nash. She goes, um, Shout look, out I Nash. just wanted to tell you that I spent all of last night watching Back chat. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Elsom, shout, shout out. out. Big Drew Banfield fan. Massive. Well, we doing research for this. You found something. Oh, boy. What did you find? <laughs> what, a, what did you find? Can you actually define what you found? No clue. But for some reason in the 90s, Channel 7, I think it was, thought, let's make an edgy sort of like exposed video about Eagles Let, players. Let's make a softcore porn. Oh, it was <laughs> so sure. weird. Now, yes. the, the people involved, there's these two female hosts that for some reason like, they just, they go gaga over the players. They're real sexual with them. They ask some sexual questions. Really inappropriate things. Like if it came out today, goodbye career. Like it'd never get aired. Yeah. Don't know how it's possible, but we do have some of the video of it. It was just, I, I don't understand. We could this Hammer. for socials. Just have a look. Yeah. This is a collaboration of 45 yet. minutes <laughs> of action. Have okay. a look, Hammer. It's very interesting. First here, we've got the uh, G True. suit. The G okay. suit, as in not the G spot, not the G string. <laughs> Sure, you know about them. Uh, <laughs> I certainly it's, do. Uh, plain G suit. Just need any help? Just need any help there, Drew? Would you mind very much if I just had a little peek under that towel? I would. We won't show the camera. But um, that's enough. David Holland did the spa bar for his fiance at the interviewer. Just keep watching <laughs> About the pop out. <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> happening? No clue. No clue whatsoever. It goes for 45 minutes. You a giver or more of a, a receiving sort of man? <laughs> That's my uh, Very bad when they're bad. How bad are you? Um, I can get pretty dirty. Oh, yeah. Peter What's Wilson? the worst thing you've got up to? <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Mate, that is a condensed version of one of the most unhinged <laughs> TV. I don't want to watch Nick, it all. Nick, Nick, you're you're up to date with some of these classic oh, footballers bullshit stuff. What, if, what, what you, what's your take hell. on this? this? I often dive deep into YouTube to find shit like real, that. Real deep. Dan sent me that the other day. <laughs> You'd it never is, seen it. It is fucked. <laughs> like, it's it 40, is. There's 45 minutes of that, and <laughs> that's just a little snip. You could make three parts videos of that, which I will. They'll be coming. Yeah. So <laughs> keep your eye out. But Unreal. it is truly fucked. Like I, that is fucking it's, awesome. It's my favorite thing I've seen this year. David Hines is getting a full rub down yeah. on this table from his like from his fiance. fiance. So yeah. all all above board, and, and Jane Marley, the. Well, I don't. I don't want to name names, but that's her name. <laughs> You've that is her name. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just did. <laughs> not even. Not even. Jane just the first Marwick, name. Full her name. Full name. Her entire name. She's a journalist. What about the? Uh, and she's like touching his body all over and goes, "Ooh, I like his arms. Yeah. Can I, like I have legs. a peek under this towel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, mate, she was the same lady that was yeah. in the spa bath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's she she popped up. And poor, that poor woman, her fiance is so uncomfortable the <laughs> whole time. Like she does not want to be there. Fuck wow, It was very good. I just thought we'd bring that to you yep. but go and have a listen to Drew Banfield yeah. it's a very good mm. chat 
Um, uh, Got a question? Got a question for you? Is that okay? Yeah, sure. From YouTube. YouTube. This is is from uh, Fiery Beards. (laughs) Beardman 86. And that's coming clutch. Is GWS still a cheese factory made for manufacturing (laughs) players to go off and play for a Victorian AFL side? No. I don't think that. I don't think so. No. Who was the last big name that left? Was it it big Tommy Boyd? I mean, he he left. But like, have we got someone more recent that we can't think of? What about the lad that has gone to Essendon? That plays a bit on the wing. Uh, I mean, Hopper and Taranto. Oh went yeah, to Hopper Richmond. and Taranto. Yep, that's their two. Yeah. Speaking to a few inside GWS, I don't know how disappointed they were were to see those boys mm, leave. Nah. Just saying. I reckon it'll Bobby start going the other way GWS? soon. GWS. Bobby Hill was GWS. Yeah, he's gone to Collingwood. They were disappointed. Let's see him go. Yeah, they would have been very disappointed. I mean, if you look at their side right now, though. I mean, they've got Jack Buckley. So who cares? <laughs> That's <laughs> who cares exactly you right. Out? What about, I've got one more for you, and then we can move on. There's been calls. This is from Rob Mac two four one. There's been calls from Pies fans suggesting that their poor start is attributed to playing good teams in the first two games. Did last night squash that theory? Well, St Kilda, I think is going to change. St Kilda, good. Top eight. Yep. Mm. And Ross Lyons, good coach. GWS best team ever. And Sydney. Sydney. Sydney are the real deal. So, yeah, they have played good, three teams, very good teams. But, like, still Collingwood are defending a premiership, so they're meant to be good too. They're, and they're, meant, to be than, they're meant to be better than everyone. True. So. Oh, and three. So, um, the West Coast. I think Collingwood have a premiership hangover, but I think the premiership hangover is a hangover of the brain and not of the body. I think mm. I think it's in the mind. The fundamental stuff, all the fumbles, that's all mental. It's not Darcy physical. Moore handballed it across goal. That's mental. In D50 do, and turned Do you think goal. he can't handball, though? I don't know. I th- do you think I know he can't he can. make decisions? I know he can. Correct. He did it all last year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. He can't handball. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's not a handballer. <laughs> not a handballer. Um, if you're watching along on the YouTube, um, the YouTube, if you're watching <laughs> on, on YouTube, <laughs> you'll be... I'm appreciating the fact we've got a live score in the top mm. right-hand side. Yeah, I'm screen. really liking that a lot. The boys behind the panel have put this together, this Damo and Jaden. Big fella Julian, Indian enterprise over there. Shaquille, just put it together. Mr. Shaquille over uh, there. <laughs> Geelong 27, Adelaide 12, if you're just listening along. Great. So it's going to be close to the end of the first quarter, almost 30 minutes gone at Adelaide Oval. Um, Adelaide out early, taking tab touch to the absolute cleaners, the cleaners. with a goal in the first five. Right. And then uh, Geelong have stormed home, so who cares? They've had a bit of uh, contact from tab touch. They're not happy. That's no, right. they're not happy. They also listed Geelong as the underdogs for this game. So no, they're not happy about that, but I think Adelaide will win this. I don't. You don't? No. No, they'll win this. Absolutely at home, they sure. will. Uh, a little bit of a preview before we get to our next special guest on the podcast, Isaac, our man who was kicking for goal for $1,000 to find out Huge. if he kicked that goal. A little bit of an Eagles game preview, I think. GWS v West Coast. Oh boy. Give me the line. Give me the... Give me the, give me the what, how close do West Coast get? I think, I think 70 is a pass point. I said 50. Said fifty against Port. I think seventy against GWS. There are bunnies. Do you want me to be honest? Yeah. I think the line's one hundred and ten. I think I'm I'm actually being very generous at seventy. Yeah, I think one hundred and ten's the the line, and I think it's overs. I think GWS just pumped the shit out of them. The only way that doesn't happen is if GWS completely take the foot off the accelerator and they get like 50 points up and it's like... Oh, it's I don't think they're... It's too... Like, they're, it's early in the year. They're a cultured team. They're just going to want to be... They're hungry. They're hungry. They're very hungry. hungry. And, and, and I don't know how many times they play West Coast this year. This is as bad as they West Coast They lost here last time. They'll be, they'll they be just like, last let's get up and fuck them. Kingers, heard, Kingers will have them up and about. Kingers will have oh, them up and about. No doubt about that. They'll be, they'll be. Kingers will be making sure this isn't one that you know. These t- good teams come along like last year. Yeah. Eagles beat uh, GWS. Maybe they're our bunny. Jermaine Jones, number thirty-one, is back Ooh, in the team. Back. That's going to be a positive. Harry Barnett is in the squad. In the team is he playing? Harry he Barnett could be. Boy, oh boy, Harry Barnett from the rafters. Yep. Ryan Marrick comes in to replace the captain, Oscar Allen. Yep, <laughs> signed a new deal. Yep. Allen out. Withered and omit. Yeah, he's been fucking with it and been dropped. He's been dropped. Jeez, I'm not sure. I'm about not that. happy about that. <laughs> not sure I'm about that. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be Alex with it and fan. So am I. I'm not happy with. It. I'll tell Last you. Last week he was actually fucked. That pisses me off. Tell you what, I'm really that unhappy really about. Really annoys but me. But do you know who isn't dropped? With it and who? Well, Andrew Gaff's list. He's dropped. No, he's dropped. No, he's dropped. He's they <laughs> dropped him on Channel 7. He's dropped. Simo he just, dropped Simo Monday, dropped, Monday Simo morning. dropped him in the press conference. <laughs> Monday morning. You know Simo's put all his chips in and said, Gav, yeah. he's not playing And they week. said, um, the only reason why he's listed first on the on the interchange is because of number order. Because he plays as oh, number, yeah, three. number three. So, like, don't worry. Oh, this is the he's first I've learned Alex with it and isn't playing. That's that really pisses me off. Why does it piss you off? Because he's pretty good. I think he's good. I think he's a pretty good player. He's been decent this year. I also don't, yeah. I mean... Yes, Gaffy might not be in the form that he should be in, but like, geez, 
to drop the bloke on a Monday night press conference on Channel 7 Steve. after playing 270 <laughs> games for the footy club. He's like fifth all time for the footy club and you've said, nah, fuck him, he's out on Channel 7. Gee whiz. <laughs> Cop that. Skeppy <laughs> at home, sitting there with the dial. Jeez, it's been a tough fucking oh, like season. I've, oh, I like it. I've been a bit shit. Sore. Oh, me, fuck, for whatever reason, let's tune into Channel 7. <laughs> let's <laughs> no, see Simo's Simo. cross. Yeah, no, he's out. Oh uh, no, he won't, he'll play too. Simo what? says, "Get fuck Gaffy." Oh, okay. uh, anyway, would Gaffy uh, play waffle at this point of his career? Oh, he has to. He's not going to sit around yeah. and do nothing. But that, that he will play. Well, I mean, what else would he do? do? I don't know. You just manage him for soreness. Well, he just trains sit by himself. Finger, sit at home and finger his own ass for a fucking for a, for a season. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> we lose on Friday. Some players have been known to do that. Uh, let's we? have a play. <laughs> 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 Oh, if anyone on YouTube wow. or anyone at home is listening to that knows what Hammer, don't say it again. If anyone knows oh, wow. that reference, well please done. Shout let out. us know. It is an absolute <laughs> shout out. Big keefy. Now, Test <laughs> Jeremy Cameron just oh. bomb one from 100. Uh, wow. That is 39 to 13. Oh, They're wow. piled on the goals late here. I say Adelaide still wins, boys. What say you? I think Geelong run away with this. Uh, well, so yeah. Stella's Kitchen Bass says, yep, he's playing Waffle. <laughs> So, of Thanks course he is. Stella. Absolutely. Stella's is. Kitchen Bass. Well, I don't understand what else you think he's going to do, Dad. <laughs> what do we think that is, just quickly, about Stella's Kitchen Bass? Do we think it's like... Fish in the kitchen? Is it a fish in the kitchen? Is it like a bass guitar that you've mispronounced? Oh. Is it like a bassinet uh. that she shortened? Is her last name bass? bass? Is it Bass? Who knows? Who knows? Is her first name let Kitchen? Let us know, Stella. Is it <laughs> Lee Kitchen's brother? Sister? I don't know. She can. They can, or, yeah, or Stella, he, can want, type it right know. now. Let us know what it is. Dockers play the Kangaroos at Marvel Stadium Ooh. in a real early bounce down, ladies Sell and gentlemen. 10.45am <laughs> for us here in Perth. <laughs> On Sunday? Saturday morning. Saturday tomorrow morning. morning. Wow. Get, get up early. With the boys <laughs> being... West Coast, we say, get up. <laughs> they get do up. Every get up, it's game, game day. day. Full stop. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not Grind. I'm not slagging on their social media team anymore. They did something funny. Too, In, uh, uh, we'll, so a lot of mm, WA guys keep to WA time, right? So would they be... Yeah. Would they be, keep, would they be like early. waking up? And early, then, mate. Yeah. You'd be, early. Getting, you'd be getting up at five, six, five in the morning. You in, can't like you can't transition. You can't get adjust to the time difference nah. in a day. Neil Erasmus been omitted. He was a sub. That's stiff. Carl Warner knocked unconscious. He is out injured. Brennan Cox out. Oscar McDonald. We covered them with Stevie G. Ins come. Matt Taberner, which tells me that Luke Jackson stays in the ruck. Matt Taberner being their third tall forward of the footy. Josh Draper for his debut. Yep. Like the look of him. So Gotta be I. honest. Yep. Saw him in the preseason game late against West Coast, and he was floating around all over the place, taking massive intercept marks. Like, like him it. a lot. Yeah, like that. Michael Frederick said he has the best eyebrows in the league. Well, <laughs> look, <laughs> I can only agree with that. That's pretty much where I can go. Brandon Walker back in, like him too. Yeah, good. Bit of Isaac Quainer about him. Like yeah, a bit silky quick, defender. Yeah, quick like and locked solid, down, yeah. but can take him. Yep. We like him. And Jago Amira, he's back too. Hot as. <laughs> really good looking a hot dude. man. Jager. So uh, the forward line's going to be Tabner, Tracy, Amos, and then Jackson at times. I like that against the Ruse. Yep. Tabs kicks well, goals, they win. What a, yeah, how did our man go last week? The, uh, the the North Melbourne guy whose name escapes me. Callum. Callum Dawson. Callum Dawson. 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 Yeah. How did our, other man, our other man ruptured his Achilles. We do have some items yeah. to touch on with the back yeah, chat we'll back in the year. Thanks to Tab Touch a little later on. We're going to go yeah. those through, Nick. But before we do that, mm. our very good friend of the podcast who took over the MCG last night, Collingwood v. St. Kila, uh, Isaac, our man on the ground, joins us now live from the MCG, I believe. No, no, nah, he's not, he's not there still. Isaac, where are you? Yes, wow, here he is. is. You How are we, lads? Oh, very, very good. Mate. Look, at he's still in his Great merch. hoodie. Shit, yeah. Nice Isaac, we're well, not going to fuck around here, mate. How did you go? Talk us through it. Just take us on a bit of a journey. Yep. So midway through the third quarter yesterday, had to meet up. So I missed the whole third quarter of Saints kicking goals, which is a bit flattening. Yes. Uh, then had three trivia questions. And based on how I went in the trivia questions, I got to move closer. What were they? So, uh, yeah. First question was, where is St Kilda's home ground? So that was pretty simple. Moorabbin. God. Uh, second question that. was... Where what year was the first iPhone released? Two thousand and three, seven. Uh, two thousand and seven. Wow. Well done, Dan. I'm um, from four. That one, I actually without I don't want to you know cause any drama, but I may have had a little birdie tell me before I went out there that there was going to be one hard question. They're in the pre-release the question. Two thousand and seven. <laughs> we love it. Respect. So I uh, so I on that one I said that uh, I knew the answer because I heard it on Backchat podcast during the week. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. yes. Shout out Backchat. And the final question was which Saints players play in the two hundredth game today? So Seb Ross, Ross that got me to about 
20, 25 metres out. Still and, a fair uh, distance. Yeah. yeah. And in front of the in front of a packed house, that's nerve wracking. Yeah, seventy thousand and just moose scenario, light work. Yeah. <laughs> light work. How did it go? <laughs> like, did you have a bit of routine? Were you were you straight in front? You you know what what were you thinking? Uh, I tried to not think too much. I realised that they told me beforehand that they didn't want me to kick it into the stands. They wanted me to keep it try because they said the footy's not going to come back. Sorry, they said, that's, low. that's unacceptable. Nah. That sort of advice. Don't like it into the yeah. stands. No, so you I sort of just, just sorry about bit that. of a lane work, sort of dolly little 25, 30 meter kick, and kicked it about three rows back, and then celebrated to the crowd to my mates that were down that end. Very. Wow. You should have just so how much... loaded a torp and put it into the second <laughs> tier. <laughs> so what did you get? A thousand bucks. A thousand bucks in Apple stock, which I've looked before. Actually, hasn't come through yet, so I'm a bit. Bit Wait, flat on that, but uh, Apple stock, yeah, thousand bucks in Apple. Apple stock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that could go big, couldn't it? I think they're already pretty big. Like, how much? I'm hoping with those getting? vision goggles. Hope that vision goggles just go to the moon. That's yeah. bloody yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, uh, so cool. it could be worth a lot more. So you, you, um, mate, I just just cash out now and go I to Bali, mate. I like Isaac's <laughs> talent as a media. He, he shuts up when you're talking yeah. and he, he speaks when he. Isaac, you're in full back chat gear. You looked bloody good out there. Yeah, it was unreal. I don't know how you got that photo. I haven't seen. I don't know where you got that photo from, but um, no, nah, yeah, the, the plan, the plan worked. The cap on the Saints. I had to wear the Saints merch, so I had the Saints jacket. And then, as soon as I got my last question right, and they said it's time to kick, I said, "Oh, I'm just going to take this off just to loosen up a bit." And Perfect. Back chat nice. shirt. Back chat shirt. Did you mention Jack Buckley's name at all? I did mention Jack Buckley. Oh. And I mentioned <laughs> Moose in the Nari. I didn't quite get the third person reference. I think it was a bit more. I moose the nari there. That's but... fine. No, that's okay. That's you, sometimes you can a moosing can get you carried. You get carried away. It's so not fatal, but we got the job done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Well done, Isaac. Boy, let's give Fucking a round of applause for Isaac. Fuck it hell. My man. So, what's the plans from here, mate? You're going to try and apply for the draft this year and get picked up and um, go play <laughs> forward somewhere, or? No, nah, I won't be going forward. I'll, I'll, I'm happy to put my to find me trade in the back line somewhere, but um. Yeah, what is it? June ten or something? Mid-season draft. Um, looking to that Perfect. at the moment. Really bloody good, Very Isaac. Good. Um, boys, you got any questions? For no, Isaac? I'm just happy you got the uh, Jack yeah, Buckley really reference in there. You. Um, and yeah, you can get carried away with the moosing. So I'm happy for the not for the, the first person uh, reference. But no, well done. We'll, Where um, we'll I get think... some of that footage up on, yeah. on yeah, socials. We'll get Backchat it. double underscore. I think we got the official. Is it right? They gave you the official broadcast sort of. Uh, well, not the broadcast. Yeah, but the halftime. Footage. I haven't got that copy yet. But Great. once I get the copy, I'll send it to you. But I've got a few. I think I've sent through a few. Uh, fan fan views from the crowd. Didn't you have Didn't you have a bunch of mates there as well? Yeah, I had about oh, I would have had a, over a dozen or so mates. Fifteen, oh, fifteen, I reckon mates, and then had about ten family members that were just sort of randomly at the game. And the plan right. was to not tell them and just to disappear. But then, in the end, I told them beforehand, and then <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> celebrated. We, um, what was the carry on like afterwards? You guys all go out and celebrate like you'd won a premiership. Uh, well, I was I uh, had a couple more beers in the uh, the Hugh Trumbull, the classic one at the MCG, and. Yes. Uh, nestled in there, celebrated the Saints win with a few Saints fans in there, and then, yeah, hit the town. Bloody hell. Oh, I don't nice. know if you get any better of a night. Win, so a, thousand. win a thousand. Saints bucks, beat Collingwood. Saints You're wearing back chat on board. You get <laughs> yeah. Jack Buckley mentioned. You tell him you moose the narrow. I don't know so how good. it gets it any just better. It doesn't get better that. than that. Perfect night. Best Perfect night of my life. Uh, boys, I think I'm just going to put forward. Mm. I'm happy Isaac, with Isaac, our man on the ground in Melbourne from now on. Yeah, Are you a Saints fan, Isaac? Of course he's a fan. Absolutely. Thanks, yeah. Nuffy. All right. Great. Nuffy, you beauty. <laughs> Isaac, well done, mate. Congratulations. Yeah, You're now well our back chat Melbourne correspondent. Love it. Thanks, boys. Cheers. No Cheers. Yeah, really well done, good. mate. Fucking Fantastic great work. job. What a brilliant up piece. Up the fist, too. Oh, he's just throwing up the, the fist, fist in there. Far out. God. Um, if, okay, so there we go. There's Isaac. Um, I've got to go in about 10 minutes, boys, because I've got to go on to the mainstream, you know, bullshit that everyone seems to be <laughs> But you know what? Yeah. I'd like to get this up and running before I leave. Sure. Hamish Brayshaw, a big part of the podcast. Huge. In fact, without him, I'm not sure where we'd be. Nah. Yep. In your garage. I feel Probably like we still need to in give your him more responsibility. Okay. Hammer breaks. Happy to take that on. Hammer swings. Happy to take that on too. Still doing it. Hammer ranks. Ooh. Wow. Hammer ranks. Hammer ranks. Love Nicholas, it. can you help me with this? What's, sure. what, what are we doing here, big fella? Well, I just like, I think we need to use Hamish's mind a bit more. His, yeah. His unique a brain. Mind. Yes. Yeah. His yeah. beautiful mind, if you will. Yes. Russell Crowe esque. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we thought we each week we'd give him. A pretty random topic, and he would rank five to one, and and see, see what he does. Um, Just any topic, any topic can be yeah. anything, and and submissions are encouraged. Like deodorants, so. what's yeah. that? Deodorants. deodorants, I could sure. rank five deodorants. deodorants. That's a good one. To, I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a I'm, a, I'm a dove. <laughs> I'm a Nivea dove. Guy. Clean, no, Nivea clean dove. Beautiful. Yeah, anyway, yeah quite great. clean, isn't it? Yeah, like neutral. Yep, a neutral mm. scent. Yeah. So this week, <laughs> for the debut, we're going to do AFL mascots. Right. 
looks that are hardest to beat in a fight. And we're not talking the actual mascot. We're talking the concept. Not the guy dressed like, in the not suit. Not the guy dressed in yep. the suit. Like the... Yeah. Like an actual, not Dean Brogan who's dressed as a boy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not the Sean McManus Dockers, like the, yes. like an actual Docker or an actual oh, Swan. I'm looking forward to this. What do you yeah. got? Have you, have you pre-planned? This is something uh, yeah, you cooked so, up yeah, earlier. Yeah, so I've, something I've cooked up earlier. Nick and I were talking about it. Do I want to cook something up? Um, let me cook, or mm, do you want me to just go off the top? Geelong, uh, Adelaide, thirty-nine twenty. Adelaide kicked one late. It's quarter time, by the way. Yep. Is it started? No, no, it's no quarter time. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. So do I? So I thought to myself, let me cook something up for a pre-planned <clears throat> topic mm-hmm. and then Nick and, and or our YouTube live audience is going to throw a, a random one at me and I'm just going to go off the cuff. So for the first one, we've gone with um, the top five hardest concepts to beat in the AFL. Uh, mascots. Right. Yes. <clears throat> mascots, concepts. I've A lot of them are birds. So <laughs> like, you can, True. like there's a lot of bird. Yeah. There's a lot of birds out there. It's an aviary for the most part <laughs> in the AFL. Crows, <laughs> magpies, eagles, hawks. Okay. I'm like... Swans. Swans as well, yeah. I've already, I've already taken this somewhere. Which yeah, so is- I'm going the first thing, I'm just going to list the easiest one. Like if I had to beat a concept, it would be the Carlton Blues. Right. Like you beat the colour blue pretty easily. Oh, this is the easiest one. Oh. Yeah, this is... I, no, in no, my no, head, no. I was like... Yeah, we're going hard. I'm just throwing out the easiest. So Carlton oh, would be the easiest. So like beating the Blues. Beating the colour blue. You right. Look, look the other way. Close right. your eyes. <laughs> throw a t-shirt in the wash, and it fades out pretty quick. Not, not like mentally. Not <laughs> nah, the mental not a blues. mental. Like, no, the mental blues are tough to beat. Not yeah. that's a different sort of blue. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Spuds Match. Well, um, <laughs> but true. yeah, it's you know the color blue. I think is an easy one to knock right. on the head. Right. Great. Fair. Then we go the hardest. Mm. So there's heaps of things like a jet. A jet is hard. The bombers. The bom- that's it. well. Here we go. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's do the <laughs> rank. Number five. Okay. So five being so. One being the very hardest, right. we're yep. going down from five. Okay. I've gone the Giants at five. Giants at five. Giants at five. The so Giants going to be hard to beat. Giants are going to be tough to beat. David beat Goliath. With though, so it's doable. No. It's, it's not a like... Rock. It's, yeah, Can with a single know. rock and a slingshot. So like, whatever. I don't know the story that well. It's, <laughs> <laughs> neither do I. I'm not a biblical man. <laughs> uh, but David beat Goliath is essentially the story. Goliath yes. is the guy. So Giants are... Beatable? Big. They're beatable though. Obviously, yep. depending on the size of the Giant. Hagrid's a Giant, but he's not that big. Oh, no. Uh, in Harry Potter, but right. like there's giants. So I've okay. put them at five. Right. At four, I've got the demons. Ooh. So like, depends on what sort of demon you're looking at. Again, I'm not a godly guy, so you sort of can't believe in, not believe in one and then right. not believe in the other one. So we're talking Satan here. We're talking, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're talking okay. Satan. Like Lucifer? Satan himself. No, we're talking right. like just demons. So just right. all so minions. So I look at so Lucifer's minions. minions. We're not talking Satan then. We're no, not we're not Lucifer. talking the devil. We're yeah. talking demons. I'm talking right. like you watch The Conjuring. There's some scary shit. Right. Like all it takes really is like some cross and a holy water and you can True. beat some of those guys. Easy. Right. Piece but it's still like <laughs> they still have their, you know, they've got Hard their... Hard work. They, 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 you got your work cut out for you. You've got to be like daytime. Yeah, you got to be in the you daytime. Some garlic yeah, hanging around. Exactly. You have to have some things, you know, werewolves. Anyway, so the demons at four. Yeah, hard. Three, I've gone the bombers. I think it's tough to beat a bomber. It's a fucking dropping bomb. It's a tough. Yeah, yeah. It's tough to I beat. I don't know a how you get any better. <laughs> no, it's tough. <laughs> I haven't thought about one of the things. It, it's tough to beat them. Uh, they've got a few things going for them. One, they can fly. Oh, I think I might know where you're going. Two, they can fire uh, bombs and jet <laughs> uh, and guns. They're quick, very quick, and, and elusive. I'm none of those. Are you things. just by yourself? <laughs> I'm just by myself, <laughs> one out on the ground trying That's to fight three. This thing. Right. So but that's number yeah. Runs out of fuel. Runs out of fuel. So that's what I'm Beatable. thinking. If I can Stand somehow still. if I can somehow and they're not hundred percent accurate, they have heat seeking sometimes. <laughs> but like I'm thinking that that is a tough one, right. but I could potentially outlast a bomber Good. if okay. it runs out of fuel. <laughs> number two, I've gone the power. Port Adelaide power. So is that lightning? Is that I think it's lightning <laughs> or it's electricity. Just general electricity <laughs> yeah. is my vibe that I'm going for here. <laughs> Thomas Great. Edison came up with it a while ago. <laughs> a while ago. It's it's a tough concept to sort of visualize fighting. Electricity. Yep. Electricity in general. You'd but be like, in trouble trying to take that on. <laughs> that's what I think. You've got a lot of things working against you for electricity it's because currents. it currents, you yeah. can get zapped. Lightning is tough to mm. beat. I've, actually, I've got a joke for you on that. Of course, mate. How many inventors does it did it take to invent the light bulb? One. Thomas Edison. Oh yeah, there Ooh. you go. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that was cool. <laughs> that's funny. And anyway, so I actually don't get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what is it? What's the one, you wouldn't get it. Thomas no. Edison, and it was just one, and then comma. It's a play on. I think it's a, gr- a grammatical it's a joke. Is it? No, it's a Simpsons quote. Okay, yep. Anyway, I'm lost. Not very funny. So <laughs> anyway, so I thought the power was tough to beat, um, but number one, I've mm. got the Suns. The Suns are tough opponent. Yeah. Like a real tough one. Right. Unbeatable. For me, unbeatable. For me personally, to go out and beat the Sun, I'd have to be 
I will have to be here for Billions. A, a, a few more billion years. Like, I've got to dig in and really just outlast Father Time. I think the sun at this point has taken a few victims and it's time. It, it has. It has. It, 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 serious, like cancer aside. Yeah, cancer. That on. Yeah. Dead. It can kill you with heat. Heat stroke. Dead. <laughs> if you get outside Touching the ozone the layer, we've got the ozone layer. I've got a shield on. I've got my shield on, but uh, shit, that gets dead. burnt. Do you know who did dead. beat the sun? Didn't Bruce Willis beat the sun? Uh, he might get in. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Willis might have beat the sun. Right? Yeah. Is that what yeah. it is? Aerosmith. <laughs> no so, I can put sunglasses on. Yeah, yeah, maybe that'll help me, but like, There's I'm still getting cool. It'll still get you. It'll still get me. It's oh. killed everything. Oh. From, like, it's outlasted the dinosaurs, it's outlasted <laughs> the cavemen, everything. I've actually got to go soon. I won. Sunscreen. Can I, I'm can, putting, I, can I ask if number six was the Saints? Like how do you beat a Saint? It's num- well, how do you I, beat like a? Like so a, the reason I didn't put the Saints in the top is I feel like you, they're not going to fight. They're going to lay down. Right. What's dead cannot die. That tr- <laughs> may be well, true, but I also think the Saints the are just going to be like <laughs> no. Um, Saints are just going to let you have it. But also a saint can just be like a pope who's a decrepit old man. Oh yeah, like, beat the shit out of the you pope. Know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I'd kick the shit out of the pope. <laughs> you mean what, what is it? Is it Pope Francis? Like po- we got? Pope John Paul's no, a saint, no, and no. you could beat the shit out of him. Well, I was starting to put a little bit of the heat on uh, Adelaide defending. John well. Paul II, get this. Bang. Forty to Geelong, twenty six. Um, yeah. So anyway, that was my five. I think the Sun would be the hardest of all the AFL teams to beat, and uh, yeah, we're going to do something like that every week. We're getting another hammer segment coming up a little bit later, but before. I leave, I did want to touch on the Back Chat sponsored Backman update. Mm. Uh, so this is a little bit of thanks to Tab Touch, a little bit, but not really. Back Chat sponsored Back Chat. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, but not really. <laughs> I thought, I thought, you know, I was thinking. Yeah, I, know what you said. I thought, you know, you know, uh, we love Tab Touch. We love Tab Touch. The foghorn's uh, been pantsed. Back Chat, but sponsored Backman update. Uh, we've got a bit of, we've got a bit, uh, we've got a bit to go through here, Nick. <laughs> We what, do. What's going? What have we had wow. a complete mare across the board? Our right? early, early selection process. It's been it's been poor. Wasn't great. It's been, it's been poor. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to some of these. Not great. So last night's game, we picked for Saints. We had Dougal Howard. We great. didn't even check if he was selected, but he did a hammy. I think in the preseason <laughs> game, after he, after he told Clarko to fuck off, he uh, <laughs> he walked away and hasn't been seen since. So, okay, so we need to pick a new Saint. Is what I'm saying basically. Okay. So do that now. I'm going to come back to it. Let's just do it now. Callum Wilkie, Zane Cordy, Josh Battle. Callum yeah. Wilkie. Yeah. Done, done. <laughs> Sweet, done. <laughs> you check he hasn't um, done his ACL. But just no, check. Callum Wilkie will be all Australian again. So. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, uh, for Adelaide. Zane Cordy's not getting selected. I mean, <laughs> he's dour though. Why is that Quainer? Yeah, well, he had 15 touches, three marks last night. For Mediocre, Adelaide. we'll thank take that. Thank you for your service, Isaac. Yeah. Uh, Nick Murray, again. <laughs> Hasn't so. played a game all year. Uh, not even close. <laughs> he's, uh, he's half the season away. So we got some more he's big He's out on the injury list. He's listed at 9 to 11 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sponsored. Might me. never play an AFL game again, to be honest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nick, I don't know. Nick. But we've got so some other big names. Mark Keane or Jordan Butts. I like Butts. Butts. Yeah. 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 I like Butts. Got to be honest, I thought Mark Keane paid for Geelong as his guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Butts. Bring back to the roots of back Jordan chat. Butts. Shout number out, 41. Butts. He's yeah. playing on Tom Hawkins right now. I don't know how yeah. many kicked uh, if someone can find that just out the one uh, just the one just the one goal Keeping having a complete hour yes. Trent McKenzie a cannon even, leg bye for now Nick hasn't, hasn't even been selected as an emergency <laughs> all year not, <laughs> he's not in the best he's not it's the best cannon. best 26 <laughs> yeah. oh, so we need a, a new, a new port player do we have options uh, uh, no. who we got Houston Zerk Thatcher uh, what about Leo Leo Radigalia 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 I think you want to go Radigalia over Radigalia takes too many marks Radigalia is a fist through the ball sort of guy Okay. And also just Asaba, thank yep. Callan Dawson for his for one week contract. For services. For service, <laughs> Luke McDonald's back now and we'll never speak of Callan again. Do you know, so. you know Callan Dawson last week he was involved in I think seven contested one on ones and he lost six of them. Callan didn't Don't even know bury that. Him. Fucking he's, hell. Just he's just been dropped, he's not dead. <laughs> They're just stats. They're just stats. I was reading off the website. Jay's just locked and loaded like fuck this guy. Yeah. And he's you... never kissed a girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Adelaide's just kicked another goal. Yeah, oh, we're back. Eight shit. points. Never in doubt. They are yeah. sizzling. The cheer squad's up and yeah. about. But yeah. some positives, if I could. Alex Pierce last week. Strong. Yeah, excellent. Dominated. Cheesy was good. Harris yeah. Andrews gave Poor. us some love. Yeah, he gave us he everything. He was getting tagged. Like... He was getting tagged by Brennan Cox. And yep. then you know what happened there? Brennan Cox did his hamstring. That's right. And Sam Frost butchered the ball about 10 times. <laughs> yeah, so that's all we yeah, are. He knows what he's doing. I really want Frosty on the podcast. 
just let us know what's going through your head when you just <laughs> take off, Frosty. What are you thinking? That's it. That's it. Very Great. good. Thank you very Where much, Nicholas, with we the back chat Backman. sponsor Backman. We do now. We've yeah. got the right yeah, guys. Yeah, now that we've got the right guys at the helm. <laughs> uh, that's very good. Now, boys, I'm going to love you and leave you. We've spoken to Isaac. Scoey's uh, defensive breakdown. So, back chat. Back chat breakdown. Mm. We're going to run a bit more regularly. Yep. If you see a play over the weekend that you want a bit of a bit more explanation, you want some theory behind, you want a bit more insight of how that happens on the field, we'd love you to send it in or let us know when it happened in the game. I'll do my best to break it down for you. What Great. do you reckon? I love. I that like that so a lot. We yeah. had a lot of good feedback from the last one. We did it because the point of that is, and we won't show this, but um, poor old Trent Cochin is oh, over on Channel yeah. Seven. Yeah. And battled hard, it, didn't he? It, well, they've got him doing breakdowns. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like they're superimposing yeah. him like on a blackboard on a, a It looks school. like a uni assignment. It looks like yeah, a yeah. child's assignment. <laughs> this is Channel 7, the biggest broadcaster it's not his in the fault. country. <laughs> yeah. It's not Channel his fault. 7. I it's mean, Tr- Trent's not doing himself a lot of favours <laughs> while he's speaking. But, but I will say, <clears throat> if Channel 7 can do it that poorly, we can do it better. Absolutely. If you see something... Say something, <laughs> and we'll. Get... Isn't that like a bullying thing, <laughs> yeah. you know? or like a cyberbullying? Maybe he also says it like he's at a eulogy. He's wearing <laughs> this white like button-up yeah. shirt, and, and it's like you. Cut cut we used to cross to you, and there was backlit, <laughs> and it was like you were. And look at me now, angel down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you yeah, absolutely glowed up, haven't you? Um, boys, get out of here, mate. It's been a pleasure. Hey, I'm going to leave you with AHA. Ooh, so AHA. we've just come off the back of uh, fives. Yep. I don't know if Hammer knows what that is, but AHA, boys. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Bye, uh, bye YouTubers. Uh, love your show. Love my show. <laughs> 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 Get me the fuck out of here. Get him out. Uh, AHA love is... Love my <clears> show. <throat> now, it is... Nick, you might want to chime in here. It is sure. Ask Hammer Anything. Yeah. So we did oh. put out a request for some questions, but <clears> just thinking, <throat> it is 530 Geelong, Adelaide going out. Geelong six just kicked another goal. Do we want to save this for patrons as a little special to them? Because will, will they be able to see? Well, we're, we're recording uh, now. No, all right. Yeah. You know what? We patrons, don't. Patrons, visual we're medium. Give you, we can give you something else because yeah. it's very visual. Yeah. yeah, it is a very visual. Hammer, medium. Do you, are you um, actually? No, I'm not even give the so, other person. So we we talked today, and I wanted to do something that we just threw at Hammer. Mm. Like he re- prepared the top five very well yeah. as usual, but. It's kind of Stephen A. Smith style when he just, yep, just gets someone sent sends him something and you just go <coughs> off the cuff. Yep. Um, sure. So I put a call out on Twitter today and we got a very handsome Twitter user called Vic Vinegar. That, mm. um, Vic Vinegar. Dub one. Dubs D- Dubs one. Dubs one. Okay. Cast these Lord of the Rings characters with AFL players past or present. Wow. Okay. So I'm instantly looking at Aragon and I'm thinking Max Rook. <laughs> Max Rook. <laughs> I'm Which one's Aragon? Aragon's top left. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're going Max right. Rook uh, is going to be my pick there. I think... Uh, is this looks or is this like, you know... I, that's looks ability. straight off the top. Looks, identity, like type of player slash type of Lord of the Rings team Yeah, member. well, Max sure. Rook was a real dour defender and just a leader. Okay. And I feel like that's... Pro- okay. I mean, you could go Matt Scarlett, but I'm going more out there with sure. Max Rook. This is your segment. How is this? Are you wearing this T-shirt This is Legolas. Well? So Legolas for me would be an easy one. That looks uh, and feels and is Mark Nikoski. Nice. I yeah. think the the white hair, Very the good. big long locks. He's a real uh, like an yeah. elegant sort of guy and an er- elegant sort of character. Um, who else we got up there? We got Ar- uh, we got Gandalf, we got Boromir, and we got the Hobbits. Uh, or oh, and Gimli. Um, oh Gimli. You I could th- you could leave that up just so Hammer can keep. Looking yeah, at I it. think Gimli would be Tom Libertore. Uh, like just a little in and under yep. nugget who just routinely yep. finds the football and Huge, he's just like team member, yep, to team the core, member, like, hard man, yeah. and just goes about his business. Good one. Someone on, on YouTube has said, uh, so Matthew Richards on YouTube said Caleb Daniel times four as the Hobbits. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking instantly. Um, the, the Hobbits are all very little people, and but are, they're also very crucial to the story. Reliable. Like if, if you've seen Lord of the Rings, like the, 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 it doesn't happen without them. Mm. Like they're courageous, they go after. Uh, they take the ring, they take it to Mordor. The other two, Merry and Pippin, go off on their own uh, adventures but are still very much quintessential to the film. I think Caleb Daniel probably just works because he's so little. A bit of Hay- <laughs> Hayden Ballantyne in one of them, maybe? Yeah, also, also yeah, coming through on scraps. YouTube. Maybe Hayden Ballantyne for maybe a Merry or a Pippin. Yep. Probably not the Frodo or Sam. I'll get back to that. Yeah, that's Gandalf, fine. I'm just thinking probably Dustin Fletcher. <laughs> old, oh, yeah. Cool. Very good. Old. Or yeah. maybe Bruce Dawes. Okay. Bruce Dool or Bruce Dustin Dool. Fletcher, I think, yep. 
very old, long. So that's good. The Bruce Dool fits with the hair, but I feel like just the senior, the age. I'm pretty sure Dustin Fletcher nearly played with his son. So yeah. like, yeah, it could be him. You shall not pass. He you shall not pass. He's stop. just yeah, a, yep, great, and could kick the ball a long way. So that was always good. Uh, I'm just going to go with Caleb Daniel for the little ones. Sure. But I think they'd, be, yeah, it fits. I don't think you need, like, four yeah. Hobbits is probably overs. I could go just, I could just go through and find four little players. Sure. Or, or Frodo, maybe. Is there a, is there a little, yeah, who would be little Frodo? main character, like? Brent Harvey for mine. Good. I was a massive North Melbourne supporter. Right. Yeah. Loved <clears> Brent <throat> Harvey. Quick, and like, but the thing about him, and I feel like what works well with Frodo, is that he was, he's like, had a bit of arrogance about him. Mm-hmm didn't necessarily wasn't the he was a team man and did a lot for the team but went off on his own little thing and had to have Sam bring him back yeah. and so I think Brent had a little bit of arrogance about him but the team brought him back so that's why I think Frodo would be and I'll just throw one at you who would be Gollum who would be Braden Maynard I think <laughs> would be Gollum yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> just the worst nah just kidding yeah <laughs> he's a nice guy actually that's so good anyway well, that's very good uh, if you Thanks. if you have anything that you want to ask Hammer yeah. uh, send it in on Twitter uh, Instagram backchat double underscore what is our Twitter Nick is it just backchat backchat underscore underscore Backchat double underscore. There, there you go. go. Just search Backchat. Even just message us. Uh, hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Uh, backchatstudios.com.au. I'm sending, I'm just saying lots of things at the moment. Backchatstudios.com.au is where you can buy the merch. If you love to respect wood and you like coasters and if you love the docks and you respect yep. the people that work on them, yeah, it's Wharfy time. That's a t-shirt for you as well. Backchatstudios.com.au. There it is. It's Wharfy time. Go buy that merch. Uh, we'll be back on Monday uh, again, 4.30. Every Monday, every, every Friday. Every single Monday, every single Friday. 4.30, Australian Western Standard Time. Yep. Uh, Hammer, you're about to break a world record. Or I'm going to try my best. Attempt to do one. Yep. We'll, we'll have more on that on Monday. Uh, next week, usually we do this on Monday, but for the people that have hung around this long, give you a little treat next week, Adam Gilchrist wow. on the podcast. Gilly. Gilly is what in. a guy he was and is. <laughs> Jane Jane was nervous the entire time, like fumbling over words or shaking when he shook his hand. It was very good. Uh, otherwise, Hammer, let's break a record. Let's do it.